again. And you? For a grand reopening, I assume. Evolution's in a rut. Natural selection at an all-time low. Shipping out fresh meat will incite territorial rages again. Will strengthen and advance us. Even create new breeds. Kind of evolution on steroids, then. A kick in the pants. Those runs Qualapec and Tihokan had no idea. The cataclysm of Atlantis struck a race of languoring wimps. Plummeted them to the very basics of survival again. It shouldn't happen like that. Or like this. Hatching commences in 15 seconds. Too late for abortions now. Not without the heart of the operation. No! Ah! Ten. Skion. Uh, we are at the, the final boss battle of the Tomb Raider anniversary part of the game, and at the soonest moment I like to save just on the off chance I die, and so I don't have to go through that cutscene again. Alright, so the, uh, the torso guy has a pretty big radius, so if you're lucky can pretty much stand in one place. Keep going around. Oh. Yeah, I've lost it now. Hang on. Hang on. Am I gonna... I don't think I'm gonna get it back. Oh well. can take a while. Bear with. Nearly there. He doesn't do a lot of damage when he does damage. It's when he uh, bangs on the ground that he does damage. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, okay. <laughs> Reload. I was so close! Get behind him. There we go. Yeah, so basically, even if you're only shooting one gun at him, you're still doing damage. A bit slower, but it doesn't matter. You're still doing damage. We're halfway there. So this is the best way to not take damage. Just keep following him. Almost. <laughs> Nearly there. Okay, so it takes a while for him to actually keel over. Give him a minute. There we go. So over here, there is some revolver ammo. And some more revolver ammo. On the opposite side, there is a small med pack and some more revolver ammo. Okay, so once we go through the door here, we will get a load screen. So don't panic if you're low on life. You will get it back without having to use a med pack. So coming here, revolver ammo and some flares. So, so far in the game I have not used a med pack and I will not use a med pack until the next level. So it's easy to start with without using med packs. So here we are. We've got um, a crawl space we can go to and here is the first secret of the game. Yes, the very first secret. It's about time. Okay, so on the left 
a random room with a random small med pack. And there's the secret. It's getting back that's harder than getting to the secret. There's a lot of death traps. But how to get to the secret is not down the slopes. There is a hidden ledge on the wall, so we shimmy all the way there. So let me save just in case. Jump and grab. Okay. Unfortunately in this game there's no button to speed up the shimmying process. Okay, so when we get there just drop and pick up the secret. So to get back, come to the edge, preferably save the game, and then we jump and we jump and grab. Okay, so more shimmying. And when you get to this bit, don't forget to go around the corner, otherwise you will fall in the lava. many boulder traps. So, sort this first one out. That's a plenty of time to get through that one. And the next one, you see there's a doorway on the right hand side there, so just sprint down there to the right. And this, this third one is a little bit different. You see there's a pendulum, and there's a ledge to jump onto. And when you get onto it, immediately press the roll button because the boulder will still get you when you are at the edge of the ledge. So, save the game just in case. There is lots of saving in this secret area. So, let's go. Whoa. Okay. So now when we get off this block, if we... Uh, trip the music for the next trap room, keep going, don't stop, because otherwise you will not get to the end of the room, you'll have to reload from a previous save. So, here we go. And we are safe at the end of the room here. It's just, you can't get through the lava once it's been activated. So, we pull the lever, that opens the door here. look, we have to jump out to the left hand side here. And here is where we save again. It's very dangerous this part. <laughs> so there's two boulders this time. And you can't quite see it but there's a hole in the ground, a pit. And you have to roll and grab the edge of the pit. Like so. Okay, so now we have to get back up, so just come to one of the sides. And then we can just jump and grab from here. Oh, or not. I think she got stuck in the boulder. <laughs> Reload.
Okay. So that was the last trap, so we're safe from now. Just follow the passage round until we get back to where we were. The crawl space where we were. Okay. And 
over there, once we get to this corner, there will spawn another mutant. This one's very buggy. It jitters a lot. Oh, I'm not doing very well on health so far. Okay, it's okay. So now we've got the jump switches that allow us to shoot the thing, the wall thing. So get the revolver ready. It is on a timer, don't forget, but you do have a fair bit of time, so don't panic too much. Okay, and the next one... Okay, so I often save here because she can overshoot that block. So, save. And feel free to grab in the air because sometimes it stops her going as far as she should. to the movable block on the other side of the wall here.
opens the door in that corner and also activates all these wall traps that we will need to go through and also opens that door so we can get to the secret. Oh, and it spawns the uh, the mutant. So, well, I'm stuck. Come on. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean the revolver. Never mind. Got it now. then well now that that's dealt with I'm going to do the fire traps and get what we need to do done in this room and then come back for the secret so let's remember because I have forgotten before now so this is difficult it's not one of the most difficult but it's annoying saving. Just jump and grab. There are certain spots, depending on where you land. Is this safe? Yes. It seems safe just here. Feel free to- oh my god! Okay, one down. Go, go, go. Quickly. Ooh, yes, yes. I'm going to save, actually. Okay. Whoa, go back. Are you kidding me? I think it's we're too close to the flame just here. Mm. I, I did fall asleep, I admit. So I'll, I'll wait. when you backflip she won't go onto the ledge behind you like that okay and jump when there is no flame so just press back for her to do a backflip because you see there's an angle here and she will miss the ledge okay crawl underneath this flame I have never been set on fire by these ones by hopping back. 
try again because I seem to have run off the edge. Try it again. Awesome, okay. And the next one here, you need to do a half tile run and jump. And don't forget to grab in the air. save because sometimes I mess up the half tile jump. Okay, so take two steps back. Here we go. Awesome. So don't forget to grab and then you just slide straight on into that gap. So pick up the large med pack there. And here, you don't have to shoot anything on this one, just pull the lever. And the only way I've been able to do it I think you're supposed to jump onto the slope and then to the switch, but I have a lot of difficulty with that. So I jump on top. So come to about where the, uh, the tile starts to slope here. Okay, so before we go any further, we are going to go and get that secret, before I forget. So there's more block moving, because we love moving blocks, don't we? to draw your, 
your revolver. Because there's a flying mutant thing, and it's very unpredictable. Oh, can I get it? Yes! Most of the time it flies around at the bottom, in the corner there, so you just try and aim with the laser sight. Otherwise it will fly into the room over there and you just can't get it. And then it comes and harasses you at the moment when you need to concentrate. And it's very buggy, these bits, when you try and step up to a slope. She doesn't want to get to the edge. And if her feet stand still, just keep turning until she moves her feet. So basically, where we want to go now, there's a ladder there, and there's a slope above it. So, run and jump to the slope. Be sure to save the game, because if you land in the wrong place, you will not grab the ledge behind you. So, this is a good place to save. Especially after defeating the uh, winged mutant. Okay. That's good, because you see she doesn't actually grab the top of the ladder. So. Swing back and you will grab the ledge. If she's too low, she will not grab that ledge. So we continue down. If you don't want the secret, you will just shimmy around to the other side of that ladder. Keep going down. But we want the secret. We do. So wait for the fire. Run and jump and grab. Nearly there. See, her feet have done it again. If you, Oh, she came out of it pretty quick that time. She doesn't always let you go forward, though. Okay. So jump and grab the ladder. And go up as far as it will let you. And then shimmy to the left. Make sure you don't have a footing, so release action and grab it again really quick. So you come round and jump to this ledge. Come back round and grab the ladder. And for some reason it won't let you go any higher than that. But that's fine. If you uh, jump behind, she will just grab that ledge. It's very close, but she will grab it. Now we're very close to the secret. This, if you don't kill the winged mutant, this is where it really bothers you. Because <laughs> if it's stuck in that far room, it will come out now at this point, <laughs> for whatever reason. So this is a, another half tile thing. So feel free to feel free to save because it's half tiles. Are, they can be difficult. I often mess them up. Secret 3, the final secret of this level. So now we've got them all, we'll be able to get the trophy at the end of the level. So we want to be in this left hand corner, in the left, because of the sloped ceiling. This has more space here. And then do another half tile jump. Awesome. So now we just make our way back the way we came. It seems tedious, yes, but it's it's not too difficult, it's just long-winded. So now we grab behind. And it's possibly safer to climb down, because I've had many times when she's just not grabbed the next ledge. Okay, and then just jump behind again. You see her feet, her feet have done it this time, she's stuck. Just keep moving until she moves her feet. Oh. Right. Oh. Okay, <laughs> okay. So wait for the flame. Okay. Now when we grab the ladder, just shimmy round to the left. Oh. She was dancing then. <laughs> okay. So climb down and shimmy to the left. So you see below, 
there are some blocks and they sink once you stand on them. They come back when you're not on them, but they will sink if you are on them, including this block right beneath just there. So in order to get across, you want to be facing forward and then jump forward and then roll so you're in the right position. So jump. And then side jump, run and jump, side and side again. Yes, that doesn't always work. <laughs> Sometimes she, uh, if you land on the the final tile there, too close to the left, she won't necessarily make the jump into here. But she did, so it's fine. So in this switch. That's in the uh, the far right hand corner, that gate. So now if you think coming into this gap was hard, yeah, wait till you come out of the gap. So definitely save the game. I'm getting worried about my health. I did notice it when I jumped down. Anyway, what you want to do is either tap the roll button or press forward ever so slightly just so she goes down onto the first get the uh, the block ever so delicately and then standing jump into a run and jump onto the next one and then keep standing jumping from there so let's go a little bit forward and then run ah oh! <laughs> how did i land there it will take quite a few attempts Slot, just in case you've overshot. Wait for the flame. Or just jump anyway, like I did. Okay, I made it. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Through the gateway is the super secret trophy. Yes. So, once we get across, we will need to take more fall damage. I'm getting a little bit worried about my health. I'm trying to do this without using a med pack. And during the Natla fight, that can be difficult. So, you don't need to get all the way to the end here. So stop about there, maybe a few centimetres, and let go, and grab the ladder. Okay, so firstly we've got some more revolver ammo, and in the trophy area, in the trophy room, we've got flares, revolver ammo, uh, large med pack and some shotgun shells so it's not just the trophy we're getting we're getting goodies as well so once we pick that up yay trophy okay so now we need to open this door and we need to shoot another thing because that's what they're called that's what I've called them over here. Okay. So before you go into the room, you're going to want to save. And there are four switches in each corner. Uh, one switch in each corner. Four switches. And there are three pickups. 
and Natler is going to be shooting at you the whole time. So if you want all the pickups, go in an anti-clockwise direction. I've got you a map, and if you try and do it in order, that's the best way of doing it. And if Natla is behind you, or comes close to you, because her animation is very random, uh, run around a bit, and then go back to the order. So, it's, it's possibly not the best order, but it's one that I found works. Either that, or you can zigzag your way across the room. So that also works. But if you're using no med packs, good luck to you. So firstly, we want to go to the right. Come in and go to the right and pull the lever. Okay, and then flip and turn. And we want to go under the darts. Hop over to the med pack. Flip back. Sprint for just a, uh, a second back over. Oh, took some damage. This lever. If you don't hear her shooting, that means she's possibly moved. She's shooting, so she hasn't. We're doing good so far. So we want the revolver ammo. And the large med pack was the only one that is not under any darts. Oh, she's right behind me. Don't get me. Hopefully the wall will save me. Yes, it did. Doing very good so far. Okay, just the revolver ammo here. Pick that up. Oh, pick it up. Press square to get onto her knees so she's not actually crouched down. And for me, this is a new world record. Oh, that was brilliant. Flawless victory. that's the first time she hasn't actually hit me with an attack. We're free to leave. Dear Miss Croft, I have been watching your work from afar. You have done extremely well to obtain all three parts of the Skion. By now, I am sure you are feeling the weight and burden of the powers of the Skion. We were careless to let Natla get as far as she did with her misguided plan. The power of the Skion is too great for any single person to bear, but it seems that the responsibility now falls on the shoulders of a mere mortal, your shoulders, Miss Croft, to separate the Skion pieces again and place them somewhere safe. You have stopped Natla for now, but an immortal is hard to stop forever. You do not have much time. Although Natla secretly set about forming a new army of Atlanteans, our suspicions have long been aroused that we could not trust her. With immortality comes great responsibility. Natla abused that power. Unknown to her, I commissioned the construction of three secret safe vaults to hide each of the three Skion pieces for eternity. The temples that house these vaults are scattered across the world. I dare not reveal the locations in this letter for fear that it falls into the wrong hands. Long ago, I met with a trustworthy Aboriginal elder living in the remote northwest Pilbara region of the Australian outback. I told him the whole story and asked him to record the secret locations in a Dreamtime cave drawing. You must find this cave and discover the three secret locations. Locate a young man, William of the Dual Canines. He is a descendant of the elder I met with and may be able to help you. I hope that the story of the caves has been passed on in their tribal Dreamtime storytelling and he can help you to find the cave. Yours truly, Associate Professor T. O. Khan, Candy University, Archaeology Department, Sri Lanka.